I was in my car recording a cheater stories from my other channel. I'm not sure the next time I'm gonna record something for Ebony White. So I just wanted to get on here and show you guys. Um, a couple of videos ago, I told you guys I was gonna cut my dreadlocks off and I actually did. I cut my locks off and I put in some box braids. I did these myself. As you can imagine, my hair is really, really short now. Like, like, hair is like really really short but I was able to snatch some edges up I was able to snatch up everything into these braids you don't know this about me but all my life like I I love braids I love box braids I love cornrows uh, I love the afrocentricity of braids they just fit me they just fit my personality and they fit me as a person I just love ethnicity and I love the history and the background behind braids. I just like, I like the look. From here on out, you're gonna see me with a lot of braids. It's not that I I don't dislike my hair. Um, yes, doing my hair is a pain in the ass and I don't have much time to be primping in the mirror on my hair. Like I just rather be doing something else. So that's another perk to having braids is that I don't have to fold my hair. And that was actually one reason why I got dreadlocks because I love dreadlocks too. The reason why I cut off my dreadlocks is because um, I had um, I had color buildup on the, the ends of my dreads. And when I bleached my hair, that's when I realized I had color buildup and the color just was, it was never the way I wanted it. After so many bleaching and toning sessions, I was just ready to start over, just start fresh. And now that I know what I like and I know how to do it, now I can just start fresh. And I was actually thinking about, I might do another set of dreadlocks. Maybe, I don't know, it's possible. Um, Cause I do kind of miss them. I don't regret cutting them off at all but I do kind of miss them. And I didn't save any of them. I cut them off and I threw them in the trash and I thought, you know, maybe I should keep a few of them. But I was like, no, it's not that serious. Yes, I am gonna continue to bleach my hair. I, I've i wanted to bleach my hair for a long time, but I was scared to, cause I wasn't sure how it would look with bleach hair. And I heard so many horror stories about how bleach breaks your hair off and it's so damaging. But like, honestly, hair grows back. You know, like there's not too many people that grow their hair down to their ass anyway. Like people are always cutting their hair off anyway, you know, so, and I know I am, I'm always cutting my hair off. Like I shaved, I shaved this whole side of my head once, you know, um, it's really not a big deal. So yeah, so here I am. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. This is my first day wearing them styled i finished them last night and i i braided it up in three sections and i dipped it in hot water you know how we do and so this is my first day with them styled i'm really happy with them at first initially when i first started putting this 613 platinum blonde hair in i was like oh my god i hope this works out because um yeah i was just like man because my hair was so short having to snatch up all that hair and get it into these braids and make it look you know nice and neat and um i was a little nervous because it was looking a little crazy uh those first few rows up to about right here it was looking a little crazy because i still had dreadlocks up here some of it was cut off and then and then the braids in the back but my kids and my husband they were like really supportive they're like oh it looks nice it looks nice my husband didn't help cut my my hair off I asked him to help me cut it and he was like, no, no. He didn't want to get involved with it because he didn't want no backlash. Like he didn't give no opinion really. He stayed really neutral, you know, because what if I cut my hair off and, and I'm miserable and I could say, oh, well, you said you wanted me to, or you said you thought I looked good with short hair, blah, blah, blah. Like he didn't want to hear any of that. So he's like, do what you want to do. Whatever you want to do, I support you. So. I feel like it worked out. I feel like the color looks good on me. As I grow my hair out, I want to continue bleaching it because I like I like blonde. You know what gave me the nerve to actually finally um, bleach my hair was Wendy Williams. Because Wendy Williams, she's really fair complected. She has a really um, she has a really light complexion, kind of like mine. I think we're 
about the same complexion depending on the season depending on you know our makeup i've never seen her in person but just on pictures and video we're about the same complexion and i think she looks really good with blonde hair wendy looks good in anything she can pull anything off i think wendy williams is a very attractive beautiful lady and and then i thought like you know if blonde hair looks good with her complexion then it should look good with mine and so yeah i'm gonna keep bleaching it so man i'm like hella excited because this this is like a new chapter for me before i cut my dreads off i wanted to undercut i wanted to undercut so bad but my husband wouldn't do it he wouldn't do it and I didn't really want to go to a shop to get it done and you know how men are in the shop and I, I can hold my own but like sometimes I don't feel like dealing with that bullshit you know um, and it's not so much the barber it's the men that go into the shop you know so I actually went up there and I was like when is it like the least busiest and she told me Tuesdays and Wednesdays which makes sense because most shops are closed on what Mondays yeah so Tuesdays and Wednesdays would be dead. So I probably wouldn't have to, to deal with, you know, no thirsty men up there. I'll have another chance. I could do it now. Just take out some of these braids and, and do it now if I wanted to. I might talk to him about it. Maybe, maybe he'll do it. Anyway, so here I am. Here I am with this makeover. Um, you're gonna be seeing these braids for a long time because like I said, I love braids. I have really short hair, so you won't see me in no cornrows anytime soon. Also, before I go, check out my Cheater Stories podcast on Radio Public and Anchor FM. It's on Apple too. It's on Apple, Spotify. It's on a bunch of different platforms. But I really want you to check out Radio Public and Anchor FM because they're really good platforms to listen on. And Cheater Stories YouTube, so if you're not into podcasts, you can just watch my channels. Let me get inside. I still have to make dinner, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.